Shalom, Brother Kabbalah, back in the GMS lesson, GMS keep pushing. Before I go any further, I give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father's only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakwadash, double honors to our apostles and elders, a great millstone, teaching us his truth according to the Bible and rule well. And I shall one our sincere eye to what the four corners of the earth, pushing his truth through diligence and sincerity and in charity. And I shall one our sincere followers, believers of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, not just hearers of the word, but doers as well, you men, women, and children, all fully elect. Shalom. One. This is the book of Sirach, chapter 1, verse 8. There was one wise and greatly to be feared, the Lord sitting upon his throne. And that's what this lesson is going to be about. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, this is your job. This is your duty. This is one of the reasons why you are even breathing. It's for you to fear Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. And that's what the world even calls God and Jesus Christ. That's their names in the ancient Hebrew, the Lashimah Kodash. Yahweh, he is, he exists. Okay, Baha Hashem in the name, or come in the name of Yahweh Shai. He is the deliverer. He is the savior of Israel. Not all nations, man. All right? The Lord considers these nations as, as, as spittle, as spit. When you read 2 Ezra, the sixth chapter. Once again, Sirach 1 and 8. There is one wise... And greatly to be why does scripture say greatly to be feared? Why? And these are all basic scriptures, man. You know, guys want to be all deep. This, this is the deep stuff right here. Be, look, fear the heavenly father. Right? Psalm 68 and 20. He that is our God, right? Our power is the power of salvation. And unto Yahweh, the Lord belongs the issues from death. <clears throat> so when you read this precept right here, Sirach 1 and 8, there was one wise and greatly to be feared. You understand you should understand what now. I could close the book. I could I could I could end the lesson right now. But I'm gonna keep going. Alright. It reads on Sirach 1 and 8. It says, there is one wise and great to be feared, the Lord sitting upon his throne. Okay, and, he, and the Lord is not in these churches, man. The heavens is his throne, the earth is his footstool. All right? <clears throat> and a lot of you pastors got our Lord uh, 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 twisted up, man. You're representing him wrong. But the true men of the Lord, start with our head apostles and elders of Great Millstone, are going to represent Yahweh Shai the right way and let the people know they should be fearing Yahweh Shai, man. Okay, let me go. Psalm 68 and 20 again it says, He that is our God is the God of salvation. You want deliverance? Right? As you see the chariot in the top corner of the screen here. <laughs> Now, this is just a, a depiction of our Lord, right, as you, as you read in Revelation, okay? White, woolly hair, dark skin, all right? Yeah, <laughs> everybody's talking about standing on business. Yeah, how was Shah stood on business? And his men are going to stand on business, man. Because that's what this, we, we are about, our father's business. It's like, yeah, how was Shah was? And we're going to continue to tell you what the Lord demands, it's fear to be greatly terrified of someone or something likely causing pain. Psalm 68 and 20. He that is our God is the God of salvation. And unto Yahweh, the Lord, belong the issues of death. So if the Lord tells you don't idol worship, don't have any other gods before him, when you read Exodus 20th chapter, you don't do it. Worshiping yourselves, worshiping Buddha, worshiping uh, uh, JC, right? Jesus Christ. All right. Just to name a few. You you you, you uh, uh celebrating these pagan holidays? We just came off of one. Now we got another one coming up. Valentine's Day. All right. <clears throat> You're going off. You're not fearing the heavenly Father. You uh, eating abominable foods, shrimp, pork, crab, lobster. You you should know by now. You should know by now. Had they not heard? Yes, verily, the signs went out throughout all the earth. Roughly paraphrasing, man. There's no excuse for why people not be fearing the Lord. Let's grab another one. Let's grab another one. Let's go and let's grab another one. Let's 
go to the book of Deuteronomy. Chapter 10. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> and this is what the Lord commands Israel. Once again, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native American, Indians, according to the sea line of your father, wherever you have been scattered amongst these nations, because we are amongst them for our transgressions against the Heavenly Father, for us not fearing the Heavenly Father. All right. Deuteronomy 10 and 12 says, And now Israel, what do the Lord thy God require of thee? See, there's a requirement for being the chosen people of the Lord. There's a requirement. Let's find out what it is. It says, but to fear. Once again, fear, fear, fear. And when you get this understanding, you're going to realize how deeply important it is to fear Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Look, 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 if you love the Lord, you will fear him. Love is keeping the commandments. What's that, 1 John 5? What's that, 1 John 5? I don't want to. Let me just see real fast. <clears throat> 1 John 5 and 3, it says, For this is the love of Yahweh, that we keep his commandments, and his commandments are not grievous. And fearing the Lord is a commandment. It's a requirement. Okay? And if you don't know what the Lord requires, you better read. And you better take heed to the prophets. Jeremiah 3 and 15, the Lord said he will give you pastors according to his mind. Right? That will feed you with the knowledge of understanding. Knowing therefore the terror of the Lord will persuade men. Okay? That's what the true men of the Lord are going to do. They're not going to be no power bottom like that T.D. Snakes. All right? They're going to be teaching you the 100% truth to, according to the Bible, man. And not out here being hypocrites. Because everything is being, is being brought to the light, man. Everything is being brought to the light. And the Lord is exposing the ones who ain't right, man. He's exposing them. Why? Because they don't fear. Deuteronomy 10 and 12. And now Israel, what do the Lord thy power require of thee? But to fear the Lord thy power, to walk in all his ways, not your ways, his ways, not the so-called white man, his ways. Not the ways of the heathen, his ways. And to love him, oh, what was love again? 1 John 5 and 3. That we keep his commandments and his commandments are not grievous. It shouldn't grieve you to go to the grocery store. Uh, 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 there's so much pork everywhere. I just got to get it. It's, it. it's shrimp right before me. I just got to get it. <clears throat> there's other meats. There's other things that you can eat. But Jake is too lazy. Jake is lazy. Yeah, they may have a, a small section of, 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 of fish or of lamb or of goat. But you got options. The Lord gave us options, man. It shouldn't grieve you. It says, but to fear the Lord, reading on thy power to walk in all his ways, to love him and to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart, which is your mind, and with all thy soul. To keep the commandments of the Lord and his statutes, which I command thee this day for thy good. And if you've been given the gift of faith, according to Ephesians, the second chapter, you're going to rehearse these righteous acts to the best of your ability. Because the law ain't done away with. Matthew, the fifth chapter goes into that. Bring out one last one, because, you know. We can go on and on and on about fear. <coughs> okay? <clears throat> Bring up maybe one, maybe two more. All right? It says, mm, jump down back to Sirach 1 and 14. It says, the, to fear the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. And it was created with the faithful in the womb. See, everyone wasn't given this this uh, uh, this wisdom to fear your help. I should be able shy, this gift. That's why you can't take it lightly if the Lord put the spirit on you to believe on these words, man. You can't take it lightly. It 
It was created with the faithful and the womb, man. The Lord gave us the spirit from the womb. That's why we always were desiring the truth. What was the right way? How are we supposed to be living our lives? I, I remember when I, when I, when I, when I, when I, <clears throat> I when I, um, you know, when the Lord opened my eyes, man, I was, I, I never forget, I was reading Leviticus, going to the dietary laws, and um, I found out we wasn't supposed to eat pork. All right, and it, it, it was like a huge. I said, "This is it. It's a start. It's a start." Cause I was going to the church, man. I was going to church. I'm going by myself. You know what I mean? And um, just, you know, Jake, you know, we always looking for answers. When I found it out, it was on from there. You know, uh, a, a guy at my job, <laughs> which is spiritual, his name was uh, his name was Ezekiel. And um, he said, Hey man, and he said, I'm, I'm gonna show you um, you know, it's DVD, you know, but when you look at it, it's gonna change your life. You know what I'm saying? Are you ready for your life to be changed? And I was like, <laughs> what could I lose? You know what I mean? And he gave me a DVD. It was a, it was it was some old Yah Israelites or whatever. But that sparked me to keep searching. Okay? Into the whole Israelite thing. And I did. Then I came across the uh, uh, uh the brother Huad out there in the highways and byways, and it was on from there. It was on. And I pray that it keeps going. Until we in them chariots, man. So anyways, <clears throat> uh, let's bring out one last one. Let's go to Ecclesiastes 12. Because this is, this, this is the conclusion of the whole matter. This is the conclusion. Ecclesiastes 12 and um, <coughs> 13. It says, now let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear Yahweh and keep his commandments, for this is the whole duty of men. Right? Man, woman, and child. Amongst you Israelites. Psalms 147, 19 and 20. Lord showed his word to Jacob, his statutes and his judgment unto Israel. And it is a commandment to fear Yahweh by Shem Shai. And only those that have the faith are going to do it. And that's who we do these lessons for. To keep you on that straight and narrow path, man. A woman want to give you some box on your job and she knows she got a man, leave her the hell alone. Vice versa, a man try to get you to commit adultery on your man. You know how these uh, 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 work husbands and wife, uh, 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 work wives, all that madness. Okay? Just name an example. It says, verse 14, for your house shall bring every work into judgment. With every secret thing, and all the secret things are being brought out. It says whether it be good or whether it be evil. So it's going to be a judgment.